Hey guys, Captain Fructose here, and welcome back to City Skylines. I did make another episode before this one, but unfortunately it got corrupted, so if you saw my last video I uploaded with me explaining that it got corrupted and stuff, yeah, it did. So, this is the one after that. You didn't miss a ton other than I uninstalled a whole bunch of mods because they were causing issues with the game and causing the game to lag really bad. I uninstalled a bunch of them, so there was a bunch of holes in like all of this area and a bunch of stuff that needed to be rebuilt because a lot of the mods just took the houses and stuff with them. And so, I was just basically trying to get this all rebuilt back to where it was before I uninstalled the mods. So I'm hoping that will help with the issues that I've been having with the game and it will improve the overall experience with the freaking game here. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So, and it looks like the city is almost back to where it was before I uninstalled the mods. And most of them were just like asset mods and so it wasn't a huge deal that I uninstalled them. Like it wasn't changing the dynamic of the city or anything like that. It was mostly just buildings that were glitching out and stuff like that, so I just uninstalled those. Um, I do still have a few mods installed, but not a ton. I was just trying to speed up the game because I had way too many installed. So that's what happened in the last episode that nobody will ever get to see because it got corrupted. Now that we're back in the game, we can continue and hopefully improve the city. We did work a lot on the logistics. I think it was this last episode or maybe the one that I lost that I worked on the logistics a lot. I think it was the one I lost. So our traffic is flowing much better now. I mean, we still obviously have some rough areas of traffic that I'm still working on, but our average traffic flow went from 55% to almost 70% now. So I would call that a pretty major improvement. And I'm hoping that will help with some of these areas that are not getting enough um, goods to sell and stuff like that and hopefully they should be able to get the goods that they need to sell now, but we'll find out. Let's take a look at a few more of these junctions while I'm at it and see if there's anything we can do to kind of ease up on the traffic issues. Well, not right there. Anyway, we've got a traffic problem here. So let's go ahead and pull this up and take a look. So as far as I can tell, it looks fine unless I take this stop sign off, but I feel like that's gonna make traffic worse for everybody here. I don't really know, I'm hoping it, maybe it will. We'll try that, but I feel like it's just gonna make traffic really bad for everybody. But we'll give that a shot, we'll let it run for a little bit and see how that goes. Why are you guys stopping? You don't have a stop sign? What the, what? And why did I do that? Let's do this. That'll help ease the flow of traffic through there. I don't know why I did it the other way in the first place. What the freak? I don't know. That one's okay, because there's not much really in there. See, wait, now they're stopping again. Why are you stopping again? That's not where I put the stop sign. Put it over here. But then everybody stops. What the freak? And then we'll do that, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's going to help traffic or not. Like I said, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with it. I'm hoping it will. What about these junctions in here? Have I... Oh, no. These need to be opened up. There we go. And then we'll do the same here, same here. Okay, so I'm hoping that will help with traffic through there at least. I don't know if that's actually gonna make much of a difference, but I'm going to do that and hope that it will. I'm hoping for the best. I really am. Oh great, now there's traffic here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in another overpass just right in here and see if that helps with the traffic. Whether or not it will remains to be seen, but we shall find out. Okay, so there's our overpass. So hopefully that will help with the traffic. Oh, I hate doing this, but I might just have to. So, whoa. Oh, our park leveled up. We got a gazebo one and a gazebo two. That's awesome, okay. Well, we'll go back to that, but first I'm going to do this. I really don't like doing this, but we need to get more vehicles into the inner part of the city to supply goods for them to sell and get people in here. Hopefully that will help with um, the traffic issues in through here. That's already been abandoned. Lovely. But I feel like I probably made this just way too dense. Like with how I used every little piece of land in here. I feel like I just made it too dense and so we just can't get enough stuff in here with the traffic the way it is. So hopefully now that I'm kind of thinning it out a little bit by putting in more roads, it'll increase the amount of traffic flow and it will thin it out a little bit. 
we'll just have to kind of wait and see. So we're up to 71% traffic flow now. I like to utilize every little piece of space that I can, and that's probably why I have so many problems, is because I do that. And there's just too much in too small of a space to be able to function correctly. Make sure we're not leaving any areas out that could be zoned, even though I'm just complaining about making it too dense. I'm making it denser again, I need to stop. I need to stop. Somebody tell me to stop. Somebody tell me to stop making things so dense. Please. I need somebody to tell me this. Because apparently I can't stop myself. I feel like I could probably make this off-ramp a little bit better. And that might be part of my issue. So I'm going to attempt to make a better off-ramp right here. We'll see if I can do it. It was weird putting it right here. So I'm hoping now that it's just one intersection there instead of adding another one here. That that'll help with the traffic. I mean, it's still a little wonky, but... It should still work. You're too steep. Don't tell me my business. Well, there's an on-ramp. Will that help? I don't know. We'll find out, though. Fine. We'll try that. Whoa, I think that's eased up traffic, though. Maybe. Yeah? We're gonna get rid of that. That's just pointless. Oh, wait. There's dump trucks. There's dump trucks. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, so it looks like I have finally got the uh, the on-ramp done. So I'm hoping maybe that'll help because it looked like there's some dump trucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, there's some dump trucks. And I think they were trying to go this way. So I'm thinking maybe if I had, since I connected this on-ramp, they'll be able to just get straight on this on-ramp and they won't have to go around, which will help reduce the traffic in this area. Has this reduced traffic at all? A little bit. I mean, it's, it's helped, it looks like. This is... Seems to have helped. I don't know. I don't know. Now they don't have enough customers. Well, our traffic flow has gone up, though. So, it's improved something. Something has improved. What exactly has improved, I don't know. But something seems to have improved because our average traffic flow has gone up. So, we are making improvements, and it is getting better. Everything has started filling back in after me deleting all of my mods. We have demand for commercial again, but we need to make it less dense and the residential probably less dense, although we do have low density residential over here, so I think that should be okay. I for almost forgot our park upgraded, so let's go ahead and um, add some more stuff to the park because why not? We have a city park and it has upgraded, so we have more things to build. So let's do the gazebo. Whoa. We'll put in gazebo one. What about gazebo number two? Put in a couple of gazebos. Put in a gazebo over here as well for pretty sake. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but because it looks pretty, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, I think. But we're putting in the gazebo over here and some more trees, because it's a freaking park. Trees, 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 and people like to be out of the sun because the sun is hot. Even in these tropical areas like this, the sun makes things very hot, so let's put some more trees in. That should be good for now. We'll leave it for now. Uh, our entertainment, oh, is not quite where it needs to be for the next level, though. So I guess that means we need to build some more stuff. That was the wrong button. Okay. So what can I build for more entertainment value? We could put in another one of these, because these are nice, and that one's probably completely, totally busy all the time. So what if I put one in over here, so people can use one over here? Ta-da! But now I need to build trees around it. There we go. Much nicer. So did that get us up where we needed to be on the entertainment value? Oh, yes, it did. How is Fructopia doing? We are really close to getting the last highest level, but we're still losing a lot of money. Or not. Holy crap, that just shot up. Now we're not losing a ton of money. So it's $17 per ticket, and we've had 103 visitors this week. I'm all right with that. As long as we keep getting that many visitors, like, this place is, uh, this place is booming. Wait, come back. Wait, go back. Go. Oh, nah. Uh, no! No! I did that by accident. And there's two O's. Uh, thank you for correcting my spelling on that. I completely spelled balloon wrong, and I didn't realize it. There we go. Balloon park. Much better. All right, so back here. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff. And we're so close to leveling up. Like, we're so freaking close. And if we keep getting this many people, like, maybe this will start turning a profit at some point. It's not right now, but it looks like we're getting closer to turning a profit, so I'm hoping that we will get to that point. 
I am hoping, hoping, fingers crossed. I'm doing the best I can to get people over here. Maybe I just made it way too dense and I just need to make it less dense. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. We could do it. I could do it. I could dezone this. Maybe I will. Boop. Boop. All right, we're going to dezone the dense commercial in this area. And we're, since it's seaside, I'm going to do light commercial and see if that will help. And now we have light commercial going in there. So that'll be good, I think. I don't know if I actually make more money from the same size, like a square of light density and dust or commercial as I do as dense commercial. It's got seaside property, which means it's got like the highest land values in the city, basically. I mean, look at this. Land values are super high. Whoa, but apparently they're higher over here in this light residential area. Holy moly. Uh oh. Why are you complaining about sound noise? Noise. What? What sound pollution? Oh, from the subway. I could try and put in some trees for you around the subway station. That's all I can do for you, though. I don't know if that actually helped at all, but they stopped complaining about the noise pollution. So I'm thinking it probably did at least a little bit. Right, so we have made progress. Uh, let's check the in over here really quick and see what's happened to this. It looks like our traffic, oh, it's, I feel like it's gone down at least a little bit, maybe. Oh, that's gone up though, what the freak? Why has that traffic gone up? What the freak is happening, it's getting worse. Oh well, unfortunately we're gonna have to um, address that in the next episode, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure, and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.